you can develop a unique style by curating your own images into mood boards. Let's take a look at the main aspects of mood boards, how to use them, how to balance them with other parameters, and when you should use them in your prompts. To get started, head to the mood board section within Midjourney and click on My First Mood Board. From here, you can upload any images that you'd like, add them from a link, or select them directly from your Midjourney gallery. You can create a mood board with just a few images for something more focused, or even put hundreds for more diversity. To apply the mood board to a prompt, click the Use in Prompt button. The unique ID for your mood board will appear in the Imagine bar. Simply type your prompt, press Enter, and head back to the Create page to see your results. Any mood board you use will show up below your prompt as a tag. You can click them to add them to new prompts, and also manage your mood board codes directly from the personalization menu located on the right side of the Imagine bar. From here, you can select a mood board to apply it automatically to any prompt, or even blend mood boards together by selecting multiple. For more manual control, keep the personalization toggle turned off and add mood boards to your prompts individually. Let's run a prompt with some different mood board profiles associated. We'll start with a simple prompt, an owl flying above the ocean. Next, let's add a mood board code that we've created for a more film style. Midjourney will apply the style of our mood board to our outputs to make our owl feel a little bit more cinematic. Next, let's try a different mood board with a more illustrative style. Finally, we'll combine multiple mood boards and even pair it with our global V7 profile. Each mood board will change the style and direction of our outputs. Mood boards work great with other parameters. The stylized parameter will help you control how intense your mood board style is applied to your images. A lower setting will keep your influence more subtle, while a high setting will make it stronger. You can combine your mood board prompts with the chaos parameter for even more variety in the images that you get back, and even pair them with style codes. You can also try experimenting by combining your mood board prompts with the raw parameter if you'd like to push your results a bit more towards photorealism. Mood boards help you go a little bit further than style references by allowing you to provide multiple examples of the style or mood you're after instead of just one or two. You can make as many mood boards as you like, one for every subject or style, or for your favorite project, color, or anything else you can imagine. Once you create a mood board you love, you can name it and share it with your friends and colleagues to start creating together in the same aesthetic universe. As always, visit our Help Center to discover even more ways to imagine in Midjourney.